Hello beautiful people, welcome to Kate's Face. Welcome to my channel. I'm just going to do a quick share of a few things. <laughs> uh, it, it won't be a long video, but if you're interested, I today um, went into town. I went to my favourite antique shop in Napier, which is incredibly overpriced, but I still go there because they have beautiful laces. And then I also received this gorgeous parcel. Uh, it was at my doorstep when I arrived home just right now. So I'll unwrap that. That's from my friend Lynn, who lives in Thames and is the most amazing thrift store shopper ever. And uh, I had the privilege and pleasure of meeting her and her husband after a on our way from the Coromandel up to Auckland over New Year's and I wish I'd taken a photo actually because it was one of the highlights of my holiday meeting Lynn and talking about junk journals and treasure hunting and all that sort of thing and it was just so great and I'm hoping to visit again soon. Uh, anyway, I'll open the lace that I purchased today just in case anyone's interested. They have a little leather suitcase where all their like scraps of lace are and um, I'm going to take the prices off because people might have a blue fit when they see what I've paid for some of this. <laughs> but oh well. This one I think is gorgeous. It's be it's a beaded trim. Um, I don't really see much of this very often. I can see the strings where those beads are, are on and I might need to do a little bit of repair work. I don't think so though. It looks pretty good. But I thought that's quite a decent length. Um, and I haven't seen any... Whoops, I think I just banged the camera. I apologise. I haven't seen anything like that before. So yeah, I, I um, yeah, so that bead there has come off. So yeah, there might be a few places where I need to do a bit of stitching, but that's okay. This one here, oops, I should have done, I should have been more prepared. I, I wasn't going to do a video and then I thought, oh, I should, I should share what I've found. I like this little ticket though. It's got a little fountain pen. The price is on the other side, but I like the little ticket. So this is just little pieces of, um, this lace with the little sort of flowers on it. It might be off, off a dress or, oh, I don't know what this one's slightly different, but it's, yeah, so it might be off a garment or something, but it's a little, lots of little bits. This piece here, see this piece was a dollar, which I'm okay with paying a dollar. Sometimes the pricing is, is a bit crazy. We are in March now, as you all know, <laughs> and we're having, yeah, much cooler weather, which is just crazy. I feel like February was a little bit of a black hole for me as far as where time went and what I actually got done. But I guess that's not surprising when there's, a, you know, when you're grieving somebody. I love this one and I know it's, I paid a dollar for it and it's less than a metre or whatever, but I don't care. I, I'm happy with that price. It's hard to get old lace here. So there's that one. And then this scrap of lace here. Which I'll use maybe for a pocket or something. And then this little one was $2, which, you know... Probably a bit much, but anyway, it is what it is. So there we go. And then this gorgeous little green hanky. I just love the colour. I don't know what I will do with it. Oh, I've got these stickers all over me now, all the price stickers. Let's put them in the bin. It's got a little bit of embroidery on it here, but I just love the colour. I don't, yeah, like I said, <laughs> it's going to go in the cording pile until I decide what I'm going to do with it. Then there's this piece. I've got quite a lot of this, but I really like it. I really like it. So that's quite cool. And then there's this piece here, which I love. 
and there was actually a lot more last time i went they didn't have a lot to choose from and it looks like someone's obviously brought in or is selling a whole bulk load of lace this one's beautiful i love this one but yeah those are all my little lace purchases so hopefully i will be able to get on and make some lace cards this is the beautiful pile from lynn and she sent me a lovely card as well and we want to try and organize a trip she did mention in one of her messages to me that she had got hold of another ledger which is this and this is a ledger from 1800s 1863 and 1864 now who knew you would ever be able to find something that old in new zealand that's a treasure and she shared it with me which really blows my mind oh, it must be really hard for her to part with something so beautiful so that'll be in a journal coming up oh and she sent me some more of this i this was in one of the very first parcels that lynn sent me this humongous french ledger from a winery i believe but it's massive look at the size of it it's so big and beautiful oh my gosh thank you lynn oh and there's some fabrics in here as well oh look at this gorgeous trim oh i love that that's so cool oh i love it a lot that's very cool how would i be able to use i'm sure we can put that on the front of a journal oh and then some beautiful wine velvet oh i'm gonna make oh i think i'm gonna have to make a journal out of this fabric this gorgeous upholstery fabric with the spine out of that what do you think Yep, I think that's going to happen. <laughs> going to try and make that happen. Um, this is great too, some quilting. What a neat piece of quilting. So that's velvet as well. Oh, this lovely dotty fabric. She's got such a good eye for things. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so beautiful. And this floral fabric, I love this. That's just gorgeous. And another piece of sort of upholstery velvet. And that gorgeous, this is actually a greeny, sort of tealy blue, but it doesn't, I can see it's looking more blue on the camera. Oh, and then some more wallpaper. That looks very much like a William Morris print of wallpaper oh and this beautiful one and this cute as a button one how lovely is that oh thank you lynn um, i'm absolutely blown away again as usual by your ability to find the most amazing things and also blown away by the, by the generosity and the fact that you share them with me I just feel so lucky and I really need to get making and I am just about to finish a journal well it's pretty much finished and start on a few more to see if I can get more I had three to open my shop in March so probably the middle of March maybe the 16th of March I'm going to reopen my shop and uh um have some journals available and also also my vintage checks uh, i'd like to maybe have a, a a little digital that little envelope that i made on my youtube channel i'll link that if you want to have a look at that um and also there's a on the, on the in the envelope series or playlist there's also the ones i made with the checks so i'm a bit behind with my envelopes so i need to catch up and I hopefully I'll come up with one that's interesting enough to do a video on. And otherwise I'll have a flip through shortly of my latest journal coming up. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to all my subscribers and the lovely comments that you all leave me. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye.